assassin because she, as we now know, is the offspring of a KGB agent and was born in Russia. So it's very easy for them to position her to make it seem as if she is actually uh, a terrorist from, from Russia sent to the United States on some kind of mission. She is on the run. Don't do this, Keen. She has to hide, stay out of plain sight, and try to clear her name. The only people that can help her are Reddington and, and a few of the people from her task force who have also been compromised by the cabal. What does that look like? And we find that out in the finale as well, that certain things that have been happening in the lives of the people on the task force, those things were all part of the cabal's plot to destroy Reddington and Elizabeth Keene because we have the fulcrum and we have the secrets that would expose them. If someone's setting you up, you're giving them exactly what they want. You can fight this. Mojan Marno plays Samar Navabi, and she is a very interesting part of the task force because she was actually brought in by Reddington. So it's possible that she has secrets. If you're going to let me go, you've got to do it now. Wrestler, obviously, is a very secretive person as well. So I think that that's a big running theme with all the characters. You got me out of the post office. You gave me a chance to prove my innocence. I know you think you care about me. We th turn the entire formula of the show on its ear. When you come to the blacklist, you really never know what to expect, but you know that you'll find Red and Liz. In this case,